nice to meet you. <laughs> A pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah, let's start. It is my pleasure to have you here to do this interview. I'm, I'm really, really excited to meet the new WWE Intercontinental Champion that beat Sami Zayn fair and well. I want you to talk about that, being inter, inter, Intercontinental Champion again. What does it feel for you? It's you? good. It's, um, you know, my last time having the Intercontinental Championship was man with seven years ago which is kind of hard to fathom but um yeah the nice part is i feel like um when kofi gave me his blessing to start my singles run like you know you can't get that kind of blessing and not do your part so this feels like my first major accomplishment um during my singles run and uh you know it's a very story championship it has a ton of history um, so many of the greatest of all time have, have held this title. So it's something that uh, I uh, I treasure. It's something that I hold near and dear is being intercontinental champion. And I want to make sure that I'm the best possible champion. And so, yeah, I'm ready to, to do the work. I'm ready to take on all comers, everybody. Anybody who wants it, come get it. Yeah, it's amazing to be a champion, especially you, Big A. You have really big experience with WWE, especially um, your last seven years after being intercontinental champion, your life has been changed, especially with the new day. So now I'm pretty sure that you have really a big plan with this title, intercontinental title. So what is your plan? My plan is to dominate. It's to dominate. You know, I got a match with Apollo. Uh, coming up real soon, and I'm gonna dominate him. And then I wanna say, after Apollo, like, I beat you twice. Now, you know, you move to the back of the line, who else is up next? So I'm not gonna be like Sami Zayn, who's looking for count outs, and uh, just, just a man always trying to cut corners. I don't cut the corner, I take the corner. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try, if this is the corner, I'm going around that whole corner. I'm not cutting it, not like that, no. I, I have a dream match with you. What you got for me? Versus who and the WWE Intercontinental, Intercontinental Champion against John Cena. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. John Cena's not even yeah, really thinking. active anymore, but hey, let's hey, get off that movie set wherever you are, John Cena, and yeah, come get this intercontinental title match. So I like it. I like where your head's at. Yeah. Yeah. What do you promise the WWE universe? in 2021 to achieve as a big E? Ooh, um, I don't know if I say promise because you know, everything is topsy-turvy, but I, I do, I will vow to give you my very best. That's always been my goal is I want to give you all of my energy. I want to give you all of my ability. I want to entertain you as much as possible. And I want to be a champion for you, for you, the people. Yes, yeah. all the continents between you know, all the continents. That's what, that's who I represent. I'm your champion. So I want to ask you about Royal Rumble, mm -hmm. the pay-per-view, this pay-per-view on the line, it will be next Sunday on WWE Network and it's 9 for 99 who want to watch this pay-per-view, it's one of my favorite pay-per-view of WWE. So let me first ask you about your memory as, as, as a WWE Universe uh, before anything. Uh, I have good memories of the Royal Rumble. Obviously, you know, you when you think of the New Day, uh, you think of Kofi Kingston, I'm sure, and his uh, many escapes from elimination. I think he's the most creative uh, one. Uh, we need him to actually win a Royal Rumble. But this year, you know, I love my brother, but this year, you know, I want it to be my year to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, you know, to be Intercontinental Champion and to win the Royal Rumble will be something special. That's something that people remember. Um, and then have the opportunity to, to leave WrestleMania as a double champion, that's incredible. So uh, yes, when I think of Royal Rumble memories, I tend to think of us as a trio, Kofi and his many uh, escapes from elimination. They're very creative and they entertain many people. I, I guess this year uh, you have a big chance to be the winner. Big chance, yes. It's in my name, Big E, so big chance, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, there, there have been people clamoring for me to win the Royal Rumble and people, you know, really getting behind me. So I don't want to let them down, you know, I don't want to disappoint. So my, my uh, I'm going to give my all to do that, just that. Let me say biggest, 
big chance for Big E to be the winner of biggest title and the biggest stage of them all, WrestleMania. <laughs> I like it. Just a lot of big. Just we we doing everything big. I love it. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. You you visit Saudi Arabia and Jeddah and Riyadh live show, uh, pay per view shows, big shows. So uh, how can you describe your experience in Saudi Arabia? Oh, it's beautiful. It's always beautiful. The reception is always uh, always incredible. They always treat us with so much love. And uh, it's always a fun show, you know? Any, anytime we're over there in Saudi Arabia, it always feels like a, a big show, you know? It's not just, you know, it, it's, uh, we have so many of our specials are there now, but it feels almost like a WrestleMania. You know, sometimes we go over there and we're in these big stadiums and you have, you know, so many legends on these shows and they always feel, it has this just massive feeling like we're doing something special here. Yeah, do, do you have any message to, 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 to your fans, to WWE Universe and Saudi Arabia? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, I want to thank all our Saudi Arabian fans for just being incredible, for being so passionate, for making noise, uh, for uh, clamoring to see us, for... Uh, I just want to say thank you for always showing us so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. Hopefully when things calm down and this pandemic is over, we'll be, uh, we'll be in front of you so you can see us and touch us and reach out and yell and shout uh, very, very soon when things get back to normal. And last thing, who? Who? Who gonna feel the power of Big E in this year? <laughs> everybody, everybody gonna feel my power. You, you might feel my power too. We'll see. Yeah, don't upset me. But we'll oh, see. Yeah, Every, everybody can get it. Everybody can get it. Yeah, thank you so much. It's yeah. been an honor to have this interview, Big E. I wish you best luck in your next match and your next matches, especially the Royal Rumble that I'm so exciting to see. Thank and you very watch. much. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you.